here in this video we will see a problem on calculation of limit of eccentricity for a circular section here is the question which we have it is given that calculate i'll write it in the data calculate the limit of eccentricity for a circular section having diameter 50 mm so first it is given that the section is circular diameter 50 mm and we have to find limit of eccentricity that is ex and ey so now with the data available let us try to get the solution to this problem in the solution part first i'll draw the diagram now here we have x axis and y axis this section has diameter capital d now we have to find out the limit of eccentricity that is the point at which or the region in which the load is placed so that there is no tension in the section so whenever the limit of eccentricity is asked in the question we should go for the no tension condition so i'll start with that since for no tension condition eccentricity e should be equal to z upon a i'll keep this as equation number 1 now for z we require z is the section modulus so we will need zxx and zyy and for that we require ixx and iyy so therefore mi about both x and y axis for a circular section this will be ixx is equal to iyy and that is pi by 64 d raise to 4 next y is the value from the axis to the topmost fiber that is if x axis i take from this to the topmost fiber this is y d by 2 similarly if i take y axis from this to the extreme most fiber that will be d by 2 this is y so here i'll put the values one by one that is putting first z axis i'll say that therefore z axis is the section modulus about x axis so it is i axis upon y i axis pi by 64 d raise to 4 y it is d by 2 so therefore z axis will become pi by 64 d raise to 4 multiplied by 2 by d after the cancellation here we have z x x as pi by 32 d cube now once we know z x x and the cross section area area for the circular section is pi by 4 d square we can put z x x and area in equation number 1 so therefore put z x x and area in equation number 1 so we have eccentricity e is equal to z x x pi by 32 d cube divided by area which is pi by 4 d square so this is nothing but eccentricity with respect to x so pi by 32 d cube multiplied by 4 upon pi d square so as this will become the reciprocal so 4 upon pi d square 4 and 32 will get cancelled d square d square gets cancelled so d remains pi and pi gets cancelled so therefore eccentricity with respect to x is equal to d by 8 and hence here in this problem the diameter was given as 50 mm as we see here it is 50 so 50 divided by 8 so this ex comes out to be 
6.25 mm. Now this limit of eccentricity EX is the first answer for us. I can say that since it is a circular section, so since for a circular section IXX is equal to IYY and even the Y value is same. So therefore what is the value of EX that will same be of EY. So EX is equal to EY. Therefore EY is also 6.25 mm. The second answer for us. After getting EX and EY, I will plot it onto the diagram. So eccentricity with respect to X is 6.25. So if I measure the distance from X, that will be 6.25. On both the sides I have to measure. Similarly, with respect to Y, that is also 6.25, 6.25. This is eccentricity with respect to x and here we have eccentricity with respect to y. Both are having the value as 6.25. So I'll draw a circle from this. And when I draw this circle, it is called as core of a section and here this core of a section indicates the limit of eccentricity limit of eccentricity means the point or the distance from the center of a circle at which we can place the load so that there will be no tension in the condition and it will result in only compression and because of that what will happen is the section won't be removed from its foundation it would be fixed and EX and EY both the values are same as we have written. It is equal to 6.25 mm. So here this circle has a radius of 6.25 mm. And with this we complete the question.